here what's good youtube man it's your boy swag back at it again with another <laughs> and this time i know yesterday i dropped the the gameplay breakdown if you guys enjoyed that let me know you know i try to lab up the play now the little shooting new dunk meter speed boosting all that but what my time was mostly spent on was the builder and i got y'all with the best guard build it's 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 just like the title says man it's probably the most broken build in 2k history and that's not exaggerating man let's get straight into it i don't want to waste your guys time so we're gonna go with a point guard obviously it's the guard build now the lowest height you can be this year is 5'9 right so just obviously you know being a build guru i'm like let me go on the builder check out different heights even 5'9 i'm not thinking that crazy but we're gonna go 5'9 so we're gonna go 5'9 minimum weight 6'1 wingspan right just to see what we can get if so i go max out 399 three as you can see legend dead eye legend limitless legend mini marksman set shot specialist legend and once we upgrade our agility because that's what uh shifty shooter is tied to we get legend shifty shooter so every every shooting badge is on legend right every shooting badge now it's like we're not gonna be a pure we're not gonna be a five nine pure sharp this is kind of a garbage so we got to be able to dribble a little bit you know what i'm saying Let's go to the ball handle. We're going to upgrade our ball handle to a 97. Our speed with ball, which is tied to your, like your speed booster. We're going to upgrade that to a 94. So we get legend lightning launch with the 94 speed with ball. Highest tier of lightning launch, which is basically your speed booster. And we get legend handles for days with the 97 ball handle. You can get legend unpluckable um, with 99 um but you you guys are gonna see you you guys are gonna see what we do with this build man if you guys want to tweak it after to maybe get the 99 ball handle maybe you can do that but you guys are gonna see so we have ankle assassin hall of fame um handles for days legend and then unpluckable hall of fame with still the 99 three all right this is a point guard we're not gonna be we're not gonna be super offensive heavy with no pass accuracy obviously we're gonna raise our pass act to an 82 which does give us that gold dimer right so we're thinking 99.3 every legend badge 97 ball handle nine uh legend handles for days half and pluckable half still get gold diamond and decent pass act 82s relatively well 95 over now we're thinking okay not really much more you can do super offensive heavy no defense obviously you're five nine with no defense how's it gonna work <laughs> we go to this steal and i'm thinking in my mind, I'm in the builder and I'm like, okay, if I can get 60 steel to get that bronze interceptor, this build might be kind of glitchy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For some reason, you can still get 99 steel with everything else. So we we still get all, legend glove, legend interceptor, every legend shooting badge, legend playmaking badges. Like, <laughs> what what is this build? Like like i haven't i haven't paused here like i was just stunned i think when i was like talking with joe i think dirk was next to me and we were just like talking within other people that are at community day and we we're just looking at each other like what like what am i watching 99.3 legend playmaking legend defense like still only a 97 overall still can get more if you wanted to so obviously the perimeter is anything crazy, but I did make a version, which I'm going to show you guys as well. Like a different version of the 5.9 still gets 99.3, still gets 99 steel, still has the legend playmaking and gets high perimeter as well. So you're basically a lockdown. And what scares me is with how the contest, contest system says it's going to work this year. And what scares me is with how the contest, they said the contest system is going to work. Bruh. And what scares me is that uh the way they said the contest system is gonna work this year, um, with like you being just in front of them gets gets majority of the contest. Like if you're just in front of them, like it doesn't really matter if you're tall or short. We don't know how it fully works. Um, but from what was said, if like as long as you're just in front of them, you're gonna get a good contest. So if height doesn't really play a big factor, is a five nine gonna be able to just get smutties and get the tight pressure very tight pressure contest on players because if so this is hands down the best build in the game like hands down if they're not the only way this would be not 
that broken is if the consent system makes you makes it so you can just shoot over five nines if like it don't matter if they're there hand up if you could just shoot over them being like a taller player being like six 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 seven six eight whatever and you could just shoot over them and, and it'd be open almost every time then at least we know like okay at least there's like a downfall to the five nine but if, if the five nines are running around they get a quick hand up and they're getting good contests and they're getting you know what i'm saying it's it's a broken build so now we have the 99 three 97 ball handle 99 steel and you can still get 95 layup for a hall of fame float game and as you guys know the devin booker floater is still in the game um i don't have any clips of it i forgot to record it but if you guys watch some some of the other um gameplay videos from other creators that went you guys will know that devin booker is still in the game so you have half float game that you can use devin booker floater 99 three every legend badge in the game 99 steel legend interceptor legend glove still high pass sack with the gold dimer like <laughs> i don't know what more you can want on on a build like this build is absolutely broken um probably the most broken build we've ever seen in any 2k it kind of reminds me the closest thing i can think of is if it was i can't remember it was 2k21 or 2k22 if you guys remember like the 510s that were really really glitchy as well um this is kind of similar to that but yeah man i could definitely see majority of pro-am people especially like in the fives i think this would best be this build would best be utilized in the fives um a fives point guard one thing that i did uh that i do want to clarify though not really clarify but to show you guys um if you want to sacrifice the gold dimer because i did say you get every legend like every shooting badge on legend in order to get shifty shooter um on legend with this layout that i had of the gold dimer you only get shifty shooter on hall of fame um but shifty shooter being in my eyes what i see to be agent threes you you would want that legend so if you just sacrifice two pass act so you go from 82 pass act you do lose gold dimer you drop it to 80 you'll be able to get the 82 agility which does give you that legend shifty shooter as you can see and then obviously here i lower my free throw a little bit uh, at 80 so i can keep that 80 pass act but yeah man you still so you get 95 layup hall of fame flow game 99 three now you get every single shooting badge on legend every single one 97 ball handle with some legend playmaking badges uh legend speed booster or lightning lodge whatever it's called 80 pass act so no longer the gold dimer but silver dimer with with 80 pass act is still seems very viable 99 steel it's what, what more can you want on the bill like what more can you want to build let me let me know guys what more can you want on the build man let me let who are you gonna, what more can you want on the build man let me know in the comments what you guys think um if you think this is gonna be the meta um in my eyes i think it is um and since you don't get anything at 80 and specific for the pass act you can technically lower it to 78 which does give you that like visionary badge which is kind of like needle threader so you do have more attributes to play with if you want to go that route of only going 78 pass act um but the build the build is broken man the build is broken um i'm gonna show you guys that i don't think this was intended because you might just think small guards um obviously they have they have the height height like restriction they're not that tall so 2k wanted to give them like more attributes and give them the ability to get all this that's not the case because with a 510 i'm gonna show you guys right now but let me back out from the 59 and just raise it to 510 to show you guys if we go from 59 to 510 if you guys remember all the stuff that we did have 99 3 95 layup 99 steel 97 ball handle on the 59 if we just go to 510 you're gonna see that that is not the case at all anymore as you guys know if you make a build and back out and like change the height it it keeps like pretty much everything that you had on the build as much as it can be it doesn't like reset the whole thing but as you can see man on a 510 97 3 now instead of 99 only 89 layup instead of 95 only 95 ball handle instead of the 97 only 92 speed with ball instead of the 94 only 92 steel instead of 99 so just by one inch we lost everything from the build we no longer get every legend shooting badge we no longer get the legend playmaking no longer get the 99 steel like from one inch of difference this makes me feel like the 59 is broken it's not supposed to be like that because 510 and even the higher you go 511 six foot 
it not, nothing comes close to the 5.9 not even close the 5.9 is just on a tier of its own when it comes to the amount of stuff you're able to get um so it's it's just confusing man as you can see we lost all all the legend badges like it's it's just not as there's no reason to make a 510 for guard builds if you're going if you're going small if you're gonna if you want like the 99.3 if you want the super super 97 playmaking and like super crazy attributes don't go 511 don't go 510 59 is is broken now the second part of this build is like kind of two versions the other one was like i said was like the super high layup the 99.3 this is kind of a, a similar version but i want to show you guys the difference so instead of minimum weight 59 minimum weight we're actually going to go max weight we're going to go 59 max weight if you guys see the weight does affect your perimeter defense so we're obviously going to stay the same with the shooting we want the 99.3 we're going to go same with playmaking we're going to go 97 ball handle um to get that all the legend badges as you guys know it's pretty much following the same format of the other version of the build 94 speed with ball 82 pass act this time so you do get the gold dimer um so the original build was 95 layup for that hall of fame float game if you're not too big on the layup on having the high layup if you feel like you don't need it you can still get a decently high layup um as you're gonna see we still get the 99 steel so this is kind of let me pause it here this kind of this is basically the build we had before we had the high layup three ball handle steel right now the the effectiveness and the reason we put our weight up is now instead of the low 70s in perimeter we can actually lower our driving layup just a little bit so instead of the 95 or something OD like that we can lower it to the 80s we can lower it to the 80s and put all that to the perimeter to get a 90 for right now it's only a 91 but as you're going to see we're going to tweak it a little bit to eventually get 92 perimeter which does give you that go challenger so not only do you have the legend glove legend interceptor but down man like i said with the 92 perimeter man you have the go challenger um you still get stuff like gold all in ball menace now gold pick dodger hall of fame off ball pass so it's gonna be scary man uh let me know in the comments which version you think you guys you guys prefer if you think the high layup with the 95 layup and the hall of fame flow game is better or if the in turn the one with more defense higher perimeter is better um what scares me is that 82 layup is still pretty good um you can still do floaters with 82 layup i don't know if that's enough to unlock uh the devon booker so if maybe um if you want to lower like i said from the last version of the build if you want to lower um the pass sack a little bit and lose gold diamond maybe go only 78 pass sack maybe you're able to get that 85 layup which was the requirement for devon booker last year not sure if it's the same requirement this year but that's something you can do as well um but it's it's just the best build um i spent hours in the builder making guard builds locks centers power forwards poppers but when it comes to guard builds that can literally do it all it's it's not even close um the the five nine just clears and if you guys want to see the comparison um when i got home from community day i try to make the same build on 2k24 because in my mind i know in 2k25 people were saying you get more attributes you get more attributes but i just wanted to see how much of a difference the five nine this five nine demigod was if i can make it in 2k24 impossible not even close i'm gonna show you guys right now all right so here is the side by side comparison um 2k24 being on the left and 2k25 being on the right um i have the base default of the build that i show you guys the 99 overall version of 2k25 now for the 2k24 man let's go through it so we're gonna have the 99.3 um and 2k25 the differential between three-pointer and mid-range it's not 15 um attributes like it is in 2k24 In 2k24 if you go 99.3 your mid-range um only goes to an 84 so there's a 15 attribute difference there however in, in 2k25 as you can see i didn't touch my mid-range 2k25 but that's just the base default it can be when tied to your three-pointer there's only a 10 attribute differential and that goes for a lot of builds man um so it, it kind of looks like you get more attributes in 2k25 but there's a lot of more attributes that are tied to other attributes so stuff that you technically wouldn't upgrade or you wouldn't really upgrade in 2k24 um it might just go up by a lot by default because you're upgrading other certain things that your build does actually need so i would say that 2k25 yes you do get more attributes but a lot of those attributes are being wasted in categories where you wouldn't really upgrade the build in that form like on a lockdown 
um i'm gonna break it to you guys in the lockdown video but just to give an example like a lockdown wouldn't really need close shot but your close shot might go up because you're raising something else that you, you would need on a lockdown so so on the 2k24 i upgrade my midi to an 89 to match how it is in 2k25 with the ball handle again i go to the 97 to match um the 2k25 speed with ball i can't even get 94 92 is all i can get before i'm maxed out pass sack by one i go to 68 free throw go up to 78 and that's it i'm a 99 over on 2k24 so not not even close with the amount of stuff you get in 2k25 way less pass sack not as much speed with ball not as not as much of uh of the layup and then no defense at all um no acceler like low acceleration i know acceleration is different from agility but um lower acceleration no defense is the biggest thing like you get a whole 20 something plus added to your pass sack and a whole 99 perimeter 90 99 steel 94 perimeter on 2k25 so the difference is just um insane um like i said i don't think and i'm gonna repeat it again i don't think it was meant to be like this with the 5.9 i really do truly think it's broken um because this is just crazy man like it's <laughs> the words can't even describe how glitchy and broken this build is but well, moving back to the 2k25 build i wanted to show you guys the build name um because the build name is actually super it's actually super cool if you go with the high perimeter version like this version that we just show you get the version of tim hardaway mike conley fred van vliet and you do get the name two-way three level shot creator which is tough don't get me wrong the name is kind of cool i saw a lot of different build names of this 2k but if you decide to go with the diff um the first version that i showed with the 95 layup hall of faith float game a little less perimeter um i do think the first version is the better build in regards to like losing a little bit of layup for like plus 20 to perimeter but if you decide to go with the layup version <laughs> the build name is so tough you get the same comparisons but you get the build name walking bucket which i ain't gonna lie walking bucket is a tough tough build name um so you guys decide which version you want to go to if you want to go with the slightly better version uh with the more defense but little less better name or just go with the layup version and get the better name but hope you guys enjoyed the video man that is my five nine demigod build breakdown um i got more coming on the way lockdowns poppers centers hash locks pure locks park builds prime builds rec builds everything man i got i got i got i got y'all man this whole week next couple days i'm gonna be dropping multiple build videos so y'all stay tuned uh y'all hit that sub button drop that like turn noties on man i'm gonna be here all 2k25 giving y'all the best content till next time though appreciate y'all love y'all god bless peace